Hey yeah, alright everybody, it's Sam once again. Um gonna do the video for the launchers now. The launchers that I've chosen are ADW, um, Go Launcher and Launcher Pro. So what we'll do is we'll just go um go for a little look at Touchwiz really quickly. So basically the way Touchwiz works is you can have uh, I think it's up to seven, maybe even more, different panels. And as you can see it's, it's very silky smooth, you know. And I also like the way that this works as well. It's you know just const you know the, the loop. It just carries on going round and round and round, which I think is really nice. You can customize the bottom. Those three. You got to leave the application drawer there though. Um, and what I do like about this is the widgets that come with it. As an example, you can actually you resize them, you know, like that. And you can see it's a very very swish, you know, the way it does it. Now I'll show you the exact same thing on one of the other launchers with this widget. Obviously other widgets that can be expanded will be, but let's say this standard Samsung widget that comes with the phone, unfortunately you can't expand that on the other ones. So what we'll go to first of all, we'll go to the ADW launcher. Now what I've done is on all three different launchers, I've put the same set on every one of them. Um, so as you can see, it's you know it's relatively smooth. It doesn't feel that that fast, that good to be fair. But I believe them they are redoing a DW launcher to make speed improvements in the future anywhere. And just have a look at the app draw. And as you can see, it, it's okay. Um, up to touch ways, it doesn't feel, you know, just doesn't have that good slick, you know, feel about it. It works. I mean, if you like a DW launcher, you'll be pretty much happy with using it on this phone than you were. My personal preference would be not to use this one. But hey, we all have our own preferences anyway, don't we? So the next one I'll go to is Go Launcher. Now, this is one that I've never tried before. Um, I've had a quick 10 15 minutes with it. Um, and it's pretty good. Um, what I have done, I've chose I've chosen what's called um, the Bull. Bulldog one or bull bar or something like that, um, and you can see it's pretty intensive in terms of the graphics. And as you can see, it's very, it's pretty fast. Uh, it's um, it's a very smooth launcher as this one. And if you saw there, see the little animation coming in and out. And you can pretty much go there all day doing that, and it's very very smooth. Now with this one, you can choose to have it scroll up or down, or you can have left or right. Of this one here, I've chose to go up and down like that, and as you can see, it's pretty smooth. Out of them all, this feels the smoothest out of the applications draw. Um, apart from TouchWiz, um, this one does feel you know, possibly the smoothest implementation of it. So again, let's have a quick look at this one. Like, I'm not going to go into massive details into each launcher. Um, if you do want to test the launchers, you can download them from the Android market. Um, this is just a bit of a comparison in terms of how fast it goes on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, the next one, um, the final one I'm going to do is Launcher Pro, which is my personal favourite out of um, all the replacement launchers. And with this one, I've chosen like the Q effect. As you can see, pretty damn smooth. I do feel it could be a little smoother. But once again, this is getting a rewrite is Launcher Pro um, that hopefully could take, you know, maybe able to take the the power of the Samsung and all the dual core phones. Um, hopefully, makes them a bit a little bit faster. And the drawer on this one, which I've chosen, pretty much looks like the gingerbread one. And as you can see, it's very very smooth. I say there's not a lot of difference between this and Go Launcher, apart with this one obviously you do get you know the cool animation. So it's it's a very nice implementation of it. Now as we're gonna show you on let's see if we look for go out to AWD launcher and we'll just add the accurate weather widget. Now obviously we saw on the other one we can we can make this bigger. Now if you try and do it on here you can do it, but it just doesn't work. It just makes it look silly. 
and that's on all all launches. So it looks like Samsung have built this this actual widget specifically, built into TouchWiz for it to expand, you know, get smaller, get bigger, etc. So if you're looking to keep that a bit bigger, smaller, half the page, you'll have to use TouchWiz for that. But as you can see, you can use most of the other widgets on every launcher. Again, this comes as the, the with the Samsung, so does that, and so does that, so does that, um, and this is the email one as well. Now, what I would say, if, you know, if Samsung could possibly do it, would be to see if they can get this to scroll, because the moment it doesn't scroll, which I would like it to scroll, but unfortunately it doesn't scroll at the moment, which is it's a bit of a shame, but you know, hopefully they may fix that in future releases. So that's just a look at the different launchers. Again, my recommendation is the TouchWiz, just for the fact that it's very nice and it doesn't look like the, the iPhone ish anymore without the big you know, colours behind that. You just get just the applications, just the actual icons themselves. And again, it's, you know, it's the smoothest out of them all. Um, again, I'll be trying Launcher Pro when it gets the full rewrite. I've got Launcher Pro Plus, so I've got all the widgets and what I get with that to make it look a bit sense like. But for now, I'm very happy with TouchWiz. Um, if you've got any questions or comments on each of them, or you'd like me to do a uh, full in-depth on any of them, leave the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter. Again, it's Sam J. Pullen. Um, and thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, see you next time.